Accra Regional Minister Daniel Titus Bluva has called on at least across the country to place their th uh, trust in the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia to implement policies and programs focused on improving their welfare if elected as President on December 7. Now, uh, he made this statement during a launch of football retired uh, Ghana Retired Footballers Welfare Association in Tema New Town in Greater Accra Region. The launch of the Ghana Retired Footballers Welfare Association in Tema Newtown drew a host of retired Ghanaian footballers, including former Hearts of Oak players Eben Dida, Joe Tegu, James Nano, Ali Jara, Eric Gau, and other notable players such as former Kotoko stalwarts Francis Kofi, Jordan Opoku, and Clement Kofi. This initiative is part of a comprehensive program led by the Office of the Vice President and One God Forever Limited, aimed at supporting the needs of retired footballers in the country. Representing Vice President Dr. Baumia at the launch, Greater Accra Regional Minister Daniel Kwate Titus Glover commended the organizers of the association and reiterated the commitment of the NPP flag bearer to prioritize the welfare of the people. We came here to support him, to get the program lunch. Based on that, he will be able to draw a program constitution as to how we can go around it. None of us we can be at a good position to support him. So I've pledged a seed money of 50000 to support him, so able to run this program. I'm the vice chairman of the Greater Accra Campaign of MPP. We're also doing this because we also want votes. We want them to vote for MPP, Dr. Baumia, and Yohani Amashti. CEO of One God Forever Limited, Mohamed Elias, who is also a former player, explained the rationale behind the formation of the association and highlighted the benefits that retired athletes would receive. What we, uh, we, uh, like we are going to do now is to give uh, how do you call it? every member a card which will take him to the uh, sports stadium to watch football freely. Also, from 50 years going, if you are like you are in 50 years, maybe when you are having problem with your uh, like health problem, you are going to the hospital freely without paying a penny. Several ex ghanaian footballers who spoke to the media discussed the challenges they face as retired players and shared the expectations from the association. 70% of old uh, retired players they were with him. The Ghana Retired Footballers Welfare Association plans to establish offices across all 16 regions of Ghana. The association will provide health care support, monthly stipends, and other benefits to retired footballers aged 50 and above.